Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad S145 and this is a 14 inch model and if you can find your model at the bottom sticker which is, says IdeaPad S145-14 14 stands for 14 inch screen so if you have a 17 it will say 17 in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take it apart and how you can repaste do your own service and clean up for your uh, laptop so first thing first you want to power off the laptop completely once the power is up you want to grab yourself an opening tool set and a screwdriver set i use this ifixit tool set as they have one of the best screwdriver set out there and they have an s2 class steel which make them really tough to warn so you can use these bits as many times without any losing the edges going bad on the tips. So we're going to use Phillips number zero from this screwdriver set. If you get the pro version from this tool set kit, I'll leave the link in the description. They include you a whole bunch of opening tools and many other tools. So it's Phillips screwdriver and opening tool. But for the opening tool, I'm going to use a guitar pick. It's the same concept, metallic. Tough to bend, soft edges, perfectly fine to open uh, covers. All right, now that we have the power off for the laptop, we're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws down here. We're gonna start removing all the screws on the bottom cover. Remember the front end screws are the short ones, the, media, the mid screws and the back ones, these are all the same size. So keep them in two different piles so you don't mismatch them. The short ones in one pile, the long ones in the other pile. Also, I realize only a few of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and if you want to support the channel, just click that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. There we go. Now that we remove the screws, now what you want to do, you want to take up the laptop and you want to put your uh, opening tool on the between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you, all you want to do, you want to just twist it, do that in the front, every two or three centimeters, do it, go towards the back corner all the way, do the left and the right side. Once you did that, you can do the back corner by the hinges too right there. Look, it just came out. Oh, and wiggle it around a little bit, it will come out really quick. On the bottom cover, there's a mesh, dust mesh right here, so you can grab an old toothbrush or new one, and you can go ahead and take it outside and clean up, remove all those dust. And down here, you're gonna see the whole bunch of stuff. I made a video how to upgrade the hard drive, how to upgrade the RAM, remove the battery, and add an M.2 drive. But in this video, we're gonna concentrate on cleaning the fan, replacing the thermal paste. In your model, you might be a little different in here. In this model, there's only a CPU, there's no GPU installed on this model. Yours might have a little extra plate of copper here and with two screws on each corner holding down the heatsink for the GPU. All right, before we continue anything, you want to disconnect the battery by pulling these cables backward. If you can't reach those cables, just grab a tiny pliers and then pull these cables back and the connector will get loose. Now, first we're going to remove the fan by removing three screws on the fan. There are tiny three black screws. The one on the left side is short one. This is the longest one. Um, this one is the short one too. The Wi-Fi cable is tangled around this one, so you have to disconnect the cable for the Wi-Fi. Untangle these cables, bring them up, it's like a zigzagging around it. Now we need to disconnect this cable for the power for the fan, just by pulling the jack backward. So you can grab again outside with a toothbrush, clean up the fans, blow some compressed air through here to clean it up. Now we need to remove the heatsink. 
remove the if you have a gpu remove one two screws right here if you don't just remove the four screws on the cpu these screws they have a seat lock on them so the screws will not come out entirely so you just have to do a few turns and that's it you don't want to yank it from here you want to lift up near the heat sink cpu whoa and look at this one look at the magic there's kind of liquid here around it i don't know why anyway so i see there's only thermal paste applied on the cpu first die but on the second die there's no seep and there is no thermal paste and this is how it came from the factory so this is kind of no no so what you want to do you want to grab yourself a working towel again the link is in my description and you want to grab an isopropolic alcohol 100 percent or 95 percent alcohol and uh, what you want to do you want to clean up this cpu nicely clean up this heat sink all right again if yours has the same plate right here for the gpu clean up the gpu clean up the heatsink on this end and the next thing is to grab your favorite thermal paste i use mx4 if you want to go out with a better brand go with a cryonaut thermal grizzly cryonaut those are one of the best ones again the links are in my description on the video description grab a little tiny line on the main die and one drop on the second die and the next thing is to grab the heat sink also replace the thermal paste on the gpu don't forget that align it once you put it down do not lift it up there's a number coordination one two three four pretty much is trying to tell you that you have to cross stitch them doesn't matter which order as long as you cross stitch them you can go three four two one or as long as you cross screw them you're fine all right and the next is to grab the fan and let's say that you cleaned it up for i'm not going to waste time going cleaning it right now so for this video i have to reopen and re-clean it i guess later on so tangle back down the wi-fi cables right here so bring the zigzag this wi-fi cable right there put it in there Bring the cables around. Goes under, goes over, and there we go. And make sure the cable is not really pulled. So if you feel a little tension in it, just feel it a little backward. Make sure it's kind of nice and loose there a little bit. Plug in the connector for the fan before you put the screw so you have more room to work around here. So it's like the connector, it only goes in one way. Align the fan, put the two tiny screws on the left side of the fan, and the longest screw goes right where the motherboard is. All right, now run the cable for the cables here. Now plug in this uh, Wi Fi antennas right there. They just snap on place, you just have to align them nicely and then just push them down. There we go. Once you have that in there, and the last thing in here, down here, will be to grab the power for the motherboard. Just put the battery connector right there, and you're pretty much all set. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push down the corners, push down the sides, the back metal, make sure it does clicks, and the last thing would be down here to grab the bottom short screws put it in front of the laptop and the medium on the rest of the screw holes on the bottom cover and again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any questions or any requests leave them in the comment area and i always try to answer them and if you find my content helpful please click that like button and think about subscribing it really greatly helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. And again, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.